This is my beloved Dell Power Edge R510. Now, I bought this thing a little bit over a year ago, or somewhat around a year ago, and it had one purpose, it was just a data storage server, and it did the job perfectly well. But now, after a year, we've got a new problem, and this is a big problem, like, no, no, mucho problem, M much, much, much problem. Big problem, big issue. So naturally, I got myself a solution. I got myself three 16 terabytes Toshiba, I don't know what, something something drives, which will solve the issue. Naturally, I decided that I needed to make a video about it, but at the same time, I realized that just buying three new drives, shopping them in here, solution one, solution two, and solution three. I quickly realized that shoving three drives into a, a storage server wouldn't make for a very long video. So I wanted to combine this with something else. Take a listen to this. Two hours later. A Dell R510 is not the loudest server out there, it, for sure it is not, but it is still incredibly loud and I wanted to have a quieter server running right next to me all the time. So what I did is go out and get a whole bunch of Nokia fans, a whole freaking bunch. So originally Dell uses two Delta, I don't know what, way too strong, way too quick fans strapped right next to each other. And that they repeat for a total of six times, five times, for a total of five times. And the, the basic cooling concept for the whole server works like this. You got all of this closed up by the sheet of metal here. And you got these three fans here sucking in so much air and then blowing it through the, let's call them passive, semi-passive, uh, CPU heat sinks for, for the, for the uh, Xeons. Down here we got another fan which is basically just pushing air into the power supply and it's these fans that are so incredibly loud and we need to make them quieter. Additionally to those totally t 10 Delta fans we've got two tiny tiny whiny probably also Delta but I'm not really sure fans spinning here at basically 100% all the time for the for the PSU. Now, my plan for today, because as you saw, the disk upgrade took a total of a minute and a half, I wanted to make a noise mod of my Dell R510 to make it as silent as humanly possible. To do all of this, I got myself five, yes, five of these Noctua NFA6X25 PVM premium fans, like with the original packaging and the original color. By the spec sheet, they should be yelling at 19.3 dB. Yes, 19.3 dB, that's close to nothing. I won't hear that, that's not even possible. Now, luckily, because we've got a major, major issue for this whole thing. Because this is Dell, and if you know anything about Dell, it's that everything is proprietary. Always. It will be proprietary. Look at this power connector. This is not PVM. But that's the fun part here. These are PVM fans, right? And what Dell did here is create an alternative PVM connector and strap two fans together and strap two PVM connectors together, which does not look like PVM, but it is the exact same thing. Now, I do know by reading a bunch of stuff online that Dell did not just use the standard PVM wiring setup. No, they decided that they needed to switch out a couple of wires just to make my life harder. So what I will do is cut these off somewhere and then wire the, uh, the Noctua fans to them and call it a day and then just strap everything in here. The power supply also uses some proprietary cable, but that's pretty standard for a power supply. But that's also not a big issue, because Noctua, knowing 
what these sets will be used to in the real world. And can we just admire for a second the ratio of fan to packaging? It's it's ridiculous. This is packaging for a 120 fan. No matter. What Noxua includes here is it's basically a little piece that you can use to hook up this PVM to two cables, basically full power, to original PVM wires. And it's it's so cool because it doesn't require any soldering. You just press it on there, cut into the cable and you are good to go. But before we begin, a huge thank you to Rolin Loa. You are my hero. Not only did I find every fan size that I needed before or, or without measuring anything, he also took some pretty good pictures about wiring, especially because later on I will need to solder the big fans and I know because of this guy that Dell made my life harder by switching a couple of wires, so I will not need to test the wires and then start up the system and hope that nothing will break. No, I can just follow his approach, his wiring, and I will be good to go. So he is the reason why this will not take two days, but only like 20 minutes, which is amazing. Thank you, really. But okay, let's begin by opening up the power supply. Opening the power supply is actually a really easy step, really straightforward. It's what like four screws, and you will be greeted with the whole uh, let's call it airflow guidance thing of the power supply, and it's really not that hard. Of course, I mean, it's a power supply, so the chances of you breaking something is existent, let's say, but. At this point, who cares? Okay, now with the power supply opened up, here we have the connector where the fan was connected to originally, and this is our little... I have no idea what it is. It's a fan. And here we have its proprietary connector, which is about to make my life harder. Over here we have the replacement fan, the Noctua NH, uh, NFA4X20. And of course, this one uses a normal PVM connection, and this is, as you can see, not really the same size. But Noctua includes this really handy adapter here, leaving out two wires, basically a negative and a positive, and all it's, it is doing will be giving it full power, and it's basically full power that this is turning uh, no matter what, so this really won't change anything if it is spinning at 100% all the time. Now, a no, it is actually long enough. It is actually long enough. So, of course, after doing this step, it's basically done. This fan, you can resolder the wires, but who would do such a thing? And here we have the new wires. And basically what we need to do is take the red one, take the black one, and we need to shove them into these Noctua Omni Join Adapter Set. Can you read this? Omni Join Adapter Set. And that's also what Noxio has written on, on the box here. I, I wasn't sure what it is, but now I know more. Okay, using them is apparently very easy. You need about three centimeters of wires. Then we need to take one of these Omnichrome thingies shove it completely until the very end, take the PVM to I don't know what adapter, do the exact same thing, shove it to the end like this, and then you just take whatever you have at hand and you start pressing it together. Oh, and then this breaks, and then there is some sort of glue coming out. Why is there glue coming out? And then rinse and repeat for the second connection. 
Again, same thing happens, a lot of glue coming out. I, I'm guessing it is glue, I am actually not really sure about that. Now what I will just do is take a bit of this, take a bit of tape and then tape this whole thing a bit together because I just don't trust this being exposed in such a way and I will just make sure that no wire can touch another one. <laughs> if this does not look professional, I don't know what does. Oh boy. Now we can place a Noctia fan where the original fan was and it's a bit misleading but what we are basically doing in uh, the case of the Dell R R510 is pulling the air through the, uh, the power supply and then pushing it out in the back. Isn't this a real beauty? It looks funny because the original fan used the full space of fan reserve space and the Noxia is basically like three quarter of that. But it should not really change anything. The power supply really does not lead a lot of cooling and my whole server basically doesn't need a lot of cooling. So who really cares? But before we proceed with the second power supply because yes the Dell R5 fan has two. Let's see if I created the biggest house fire my office has ever seen. Yes. Moment of truth. Oh yeah I forgot about that. Uh, this fan is spinning no matter if the system is powered on or not so it is spinning. With that out of the way Let's start with the second one. This was so much quicker. This was basically a speed run. Okay, so now it's finally time for the big guns. Taking everything out is probably as easy as you might expect. It's, I mean, in the end, it's just a little clip at the end of the connector that you need to press and then you can slide everything out. This one is already out. And this is basically where the annoying part begins because of this little connector born straight out of hell. Now, fortunately everything is solvable to some degree. Now what you are going to do is instead of cut straight through the new Noctua NFA6 PVM cable, we are going to cut the PVM extension and we will solder this one to this connector using the guide from the, the guy from the LTT forum. Okay, so this is the point where we stand. I cut off one half of that fake PVM connector just to make it easier to understand which wire goes which. And what we will do now is connect each color to the exact same color on the other side except for the yellow and the green one. These two need to be reversed on this end with the yellow one going with the red one and the green one going with the yellow one. Why, why did they do that? This looks horrible, <laughs> uh, as long as it works. <laughs> oh, and here you can see the cabling again, the red with the yellow, here. the red with the yellow one, the yellow one with the green one, blue and blue and black and black, and just, if you do it, don't make it look this horrible. <laughs> okay, get this. Instead of working like a madman, and you have seen how, uh, Beautifully, I, uh, I did this. I know that one of these fans is rocking 0.68 amps. Uh, the Noctua NH-A6 uh, that I will be using are using 0 0.08, 0 0.08 amps. So even if I run five of them in, uh, in parallel, we will never be even close to that amount of power, not even close. So instead of working like an idiot here, what I will be doing is use the um, splitter 
cable that Nokia includes in, in, in the box of each of these fans. And what I will do is basically create a huge centipede of Noctua fans who are all running off a single header because why the hell not? It is not using a lot of electricity. Like literally nothing. 0.8 amps. I, you could lick that. I do not see why this should not be working just fine. <laughs> For that guy doing the build log, instead of taping them, just use these rubber thingies. They can be bent quite severely, and instead of doing, of destroying basically all of your Delta fans for for your uh, Dell R510, just do one and daisy chain the crap out of your fans. It's so much easier. Six hours later. The whole operation today took about 12 hours. Replacing the fans of the main Delta fans, the big ones, was really not an issue. The issue was the power supply. When I finished everything, I plugged it in and then started it up and it, it did not post. It just started up and a second later it shut down. And then again and again and rinse and repeat. Then I Switch out the power supply because I have redundant power supplies. So I use the second one and still the same thing. And usually I use both, but here for testing purposes, just one, but still. Booting up, shutting down, booting up, shutting down, rinse and repeat. Hours and hours later, I placed the Delta fans back in. I replaced here and there. I took all of the hard drives out. It took hours and hours. And I realized that on the power supply, there is a, a little light and the light was green when I plugged it in and as soon as the system shut down again it became orange or amber they call it and that basically just indicates a, a PSU fault. When I realized that the, 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 uh, the lights were switching off at the exact same moment that the, the server was shutting down I uh, found out that it took seconds not like a, a action so what I did is uh, I plugged in one power supply, I waited, let's say, five seconds, and I plugged in the second one and took the cable out of the first one. Then I had those additional five seconds from the second power supply. Then after five more seconds, I put the, a second cord into the first one again, took out the second one. So I had another five seconds and I did that <laughs> like, like an idiot for a minute until I saw that an image was coming no, giving me the knowledge that my server is not dead yet because at the at the time I was already looking for new ones online. Add a couple of hours more and I found out that these little Noctua A4X20 fans they did spin but they did something to, my, to the PSUs shutting them down, both of them. And that took around 10 hours to realize and because I uh, cut all of the, the wires of the original fans I had to solder the original fans back in there and voila it is working again so I don't know why the the guy from the LTT forums R510 worked with these fans mine did not I don't know why I used the appropriate cables and I guess I did everything right because they were spinning. I don't know why this didn't work but to be honest if anybody wants to do a silent mod do not exchange these. It is not worth it. This just takes too much time and the difference is just unhearable with these. With the Delta fans it's it's a light and, and, and night difference but these it's like 1 or 2 dB. I don't care. I really don't. Just, if I could have, if I knew better, I would have done it. I would just have changed up uh, the Delta fans. That's that's really worth it. Um, in terms of sound, you can hear it. I can talk while the server is running. That's amazing. Uh, I also did a temp check. It's, we are talking about 10 degrees more, which was uh, expected from me, to be honest. I mean, those, del those uh, is it, uh, yeah, Delta fans are spinning at, what, like 3000 RPM, they are pushing crazy numbers, and these are just, like, spitting a bit of air. But for the purposes of just storing data, this is enough. So, 
Again, a huge thank you to the guy from the forum, and I'm very happy with the result. It is running. <laughs> so if anybody wants to do a silent mod of a servo like this, uh, I do recommend the, the bigger Noxia fans to replace the Delta ones if you are not doing any heavy workloads and I do not recommend to uh, exchange the power supply uh, fan and do not do every connector. I mean these Delta fans are pushing crazy numbers. You can just PVM splitter everything up and then run like five fans on one. The server won't care and especially in my, in my case I could even put two fans into each bay still daisy chain them to the other ones and it would still work on the single port without an issue and i would have even more cooling with just a little bit more noise but for me this is all right okay so i guess yeah this was a 10 hour filming day i'm tired but it works i'm happy okay see you bye bye <laughs>